Hey coaches, Joe Salas here. Uh, we're continuing down this trail of uh, protecting the counter. Today we'll be talking about our power read. Uh, I think it, it protects the counter even though it's not the exact same scheme. It just it, it puts those defensive ends in in a lot of in just in a big bind and uh where they're where you're trying to get them where they're afraid to come up the field they're trying to sit because when they sit i think we can uh we can do things to them so let's uh let's look at it real quick hey actually before i get into this uh we're gonna have another uh coaches round table uh next tuesday uh, if I was smart, I would have looked up the date on that. But next Tuesday at 7 p.m., uh, that is uh, the 21st. Next Tuesday, the 21st at 7 p.m., uh, we'll put it out on Zoom so everyone's invited. It's free, of course, and uh, I've got some good, uh, good coaches that are going to come in. It's another one on everything but X's and O's. So uh, it's going to be a good one. The last one was fantastic. Uh, I came up with five ideas myself that that I'm I'm stealing. So, so uh, 15 minute presentations and then a Q and A at the end. We usually go about two hours, so it's a good time and it's a a great learning tool. And like I said, got some good coaches from North Carolina, from Georgia, and possibly from uh, South Carolina. All right, so let's look at this power read. Uh, one of those again should have called it a bunch more. Ran it 16 times. Um, 7.5 average, uh, ran it to the left 12 times for 8.5 average, and to the right four times for a 4.5 average. Our three long plays, we had one pop for 42, 13, and 13. Ran it out of uh, slot left, slot right, and two by two. So let's go ahead and look at the cutups real quick. And I'll draw it up on the screen for you. All right, so the blocking is just regular power. I think everyone's familiar with, with how power read works. So the center would block back. The guard would block down. The uh, tackle would run his track, looking to double team, and then catching the backside backer. The, uh, the backside guard is going to pull, and he's going to pull for front side guard. Uh, backer and the uh and then the backside tackle is going to do the little hitch deal we do it i know some people do it out of uh you know off a of jet sweep action but we pitch our jet so it's not a good deal for us off of jet sweep action but if you got some a tailback with some speed all we're doing is we're reading this defensive end the play side defensive end uh because it's an outside play receivers will come up and they'll be blocking and right now, this actually would have been a good set for a bubble because we got three on two. Uh, sometimes we will uh, crack the box if there's a backer inside that's giving us trouble. The, the running back runs a sweet path, and the quarterback, again, has two hops to decide whether he's going to run the power himself or he's going to hand it for the easy one uh, around the corner. Uh, if you guys have seen some of my tape, you know our quarterback, he uh, he was a runner and he liked to run it. So sometimes the reads aren't perfect, but you know if you got an athlete there, let him be an athlete, especially if he enjoys it. So here we go. This is the first one. That was a good read. If you read that defensive end, the defensive end squeezed with the, with the uh, tackle. So it's just a gimme around the corner. You see uh, our our uh, our Y there kind of got befuddled because the inside backer blitzed right there. But you know you know the deal. If they blitz on this, it's pretty much a guaranteed big play. If we had just a little bit of blocking out there on the edge, we would have uh, gone even farther. But that that was a gain of thirteen on just a simple handed off play. All right, here we go again. All right, quarterback makes another great read. And this one gets tricky because this this is actually a linebacker that walks up. So this this linebacker walks up. Well, he, he just became the end man on the line of scrimmage, so he just became the read. So quarterback does a good job. He goes up the field after the tailback. 
Quarterback sticks his foot in the ground and gain a 42. Bring that back one more time. So we really got lucky here because the defensive end, for some reason, is squeezing with the uh, with the tackle. You see how he did that? And then the pulling guard actually picked him up or took a shot at him anyway. I think what that is is that's an inside backer. Yeah, you can see it here. This is That's an inside backer that walks up outside and comes off the edge right there. So that really was the guard's man. So it was okay that he took a shot right there. And like I said, if you got an athlete, turns out to be a good play for you just with a little bit of read. All right, this one is slot left, and it goes to the uh, it goes to the left. The read right now is this guy. And again, he squeezes down, so this should be an easy give every time. That time you get a good look at the at the backside guard pulling through. Even though he really doesn't find work, he kind of gets befuddled up in there, and he doesn't find anyone. Let's see the backside tackle. Backside tackle does a good job of picking up pursuit. Quarterback does a good job reading it. And for some reason, my X up here keeps... What what he's doing is he's forgetting the the rule is that any outside play... If they know the ball has a chance to come outside, they have to block, and he's treating it just like a normal play. So he keeps running a Larry right there. That's why he's screwing that up. Probably because we only ran it 16 times, so he's not used to it. The Y does a good job of getting down in the box right here. The H does a good job of getting his guy. So these two both do a great job. And you get a gain of 10 on second and six. All right, this one is slot right, and this is a 26. All right, I don't think I, I don't really like the way this left tackle, he almost pass set right there. You see how he, he almost overset like a pass set and lets this guy come up underneath him. He doesn't have to get out there to get him. He just has to squeeze down inside and then just turn and make, heck, make him run the hoop, make him run around you. He takes himself out of the play. The right guard does a good job of pulling and getting up in there. And the quarterback made a good read on the defensive end. H does a uh, H starts out doing a good job of coming down into the box, but he kind of got confused there at the end. Uh, let's see if the Y does a good job with his. Z and Y do a pretty good job getting a P, at least getting a piece. So that was a game of 13. Let me see what that was. That was third and nine, and that's a gain of 13. So that's a pretty dang good play. All right, here we go. Slot left. This is fourth and five, and I think this was a uh, this was a, a nut cutter of a drive right here. So fourth and five, and we get uh, we run it. They did that deal again where they uh, – looks like they walked that inside backer up on the outside. So he became the read. So this is actually a, this is actually an inside backer who walked up outside, but he becomes a read. Let's see what it does. H at least got a piece of him. X is still screwing it up. Uh, y does just the, the perfect amount of nothing to get in the way. <laughs> and the linebacker ran up the field, so the quarterback pulled it. So it's fourth and five, and we got a gain of 11 because the quarterback kicks it up in there so hard. And then this one is two by two. It's third and six. And we're going to the left. Again, easy. It's an easy read because that defensive end keeps squeezing it. They actually got us outnumbered out there. 
but the court, but the tailback just uses speed and ended up getting a nice play out of it. They really had us outnumbered there. We should have been in slot left to get the extra blocker. They got three on our two. Luckily, the defensive end squeezed and and the tailback just outran them. So. A little speed by the tailback always helps, but the quarterback made the right read. I think we're back at the beginning, so uh, so that's it. It was a good play, and I just think it it fits in really good with our with our counter. Just because you're trying to mess with those defensive ends and put them in a uh, in a no win situation, make them double think everything that they've got to get get done that night. Uh, so that's it, coaches. I appreciate it. Uh, please, uh, when I'm looking at the analytics on the channel, still got about half the people watching videos aren't subscribed. So please subscribe. I've got a goal. I want to I want to uh, get to five thousand, and uh, and I need you. So help me out. Hit subscribe and hit the bell and that way you'll know i also have coach uh coach uh richards is going to be putting out some more three by uh three three videos for me and uh and he's excited about uh, about putting the information out there so we got some exciting things coming thank you coaches